Hello everyone. Today is a very special day. It's Raksha Bandhan, a very cordial relationship between a brother and a sister. Today, we are going to make an amazing dish. As a brother, I have decided to create a wonderful dish for my sister. Before we go ahead, we need ingredients such as date puree and for the nuts, we need almonds, cashews, pistachios, walnuts. We also need ghee and cardamom powder. So, let's begin. On a semi tapenaki, you just need to slide it to 180 degrees and preheat the tapenaki. Now you can see as the tapenaki is preheated, take the dates puree. Just let it cook for 2 minutes. Once it starts cooking, take ghee, almost 2 spoons are enough, and then it probably stir fry it. So, once the stir fry is happening, what I'll do is place the puree on the side. Since we have the ghee already, we'll take all the nuts and roast them. So that was walnuts, almonds, cashews, and pistachios, and a pinch of cardamom powder. You can add a little bit of more ghee to the nuts. Once you feel the, the nuts are roasted, make sure that you mix all the mixture together and keep cooking till it becomes thick. And I'm going to do that right now. I'm sure my sister is definitely going to love it. So as you can see, it's almost ready. What you need to do is just take a deep tray. I'm just going to grease it. You just need to shape it, a burfi shape basically. I'll just do that right now. So once the mixture is cooled down, make sure you cut them into small pieces and enjoy them with your siblings or loved ones. Make your Raksha Bandha sweeter with dates and dry fruit burfi. Let us know in the comments how you find the dish. Thank you so much.